Hi YouTube, I thought I'd just do a basic video on how to get Launchbox to work with your Amiga and your Amiga CD32 using FSUAE. So you need to go to fsuae.net and download the latest stable version or development version. You would not want to ideally download the portable version to make it portable with Launchbox. So as you can see here my Launchbox install path in the emulators I've got a couple of different versions in there because I was playing about with it but this is the latest one I've got and as you say it's not very big all you basically need to get yourself are the kickstarts and place them in the kickstarts folder now mine is empty because my kickstarts are in my OneDrive because I'm using them on several computers and because I got there obviously you can hunt on Google for the kickstarts but you can buy them legally by purchasing Amiga Forever which is what I done because I couldn't be bothered to go traipsing around everywhere to find all the correct kickstarts so if you launch the launcher there, launcher exec you get the FSUAE launcher window. All you need to do in here is go to the settings. Now you've got import kickstarts and Amiga Forever import. If you've got Amiga Forever input, Amiga Forever, you just click on the Amiga Forever import, port it to where it is, and all your kickstarts will be there. If you haven't and you found them yourself and put them in the kickstarts folder you put import kickstarts tell it where they are and then it will tell you whether you've got all the kickstart ROMs which as you can see there I have. The only other thing you need to do for launch box purposes is go into settings and video start FSUAE in full screen mode which is on and the U when UAE side it's as simple as that I'm using a Xbox One controller and it automatically configures the controller so you don't even need to worry about that so if I go back to my launch box folder now games wise you've got the Amiga and the Amiga CD32 now for the Amiga they're shown as folders but they are actually zip files I'm not sure why they're shown as folders at the moment it's probably a setting I've got on the computer and it's automatically that's why they're shown as folders because they're zip files inside the folders what it is, is I imported them from another machine and it put them all in their separate folders. But as you can see, they're zip files and what that is, it's a WHD load package, which is what I found is the easiest way to run the games because if you've got multiple disc games, it's got them all in the one package and basically what it does in layman's terms is when FSUAE runs it, it creates a virtual Amiga hard drive, installs a game onto the hard drive and you can play it. The only downside to this, which is a deal breaker for a lot of people, is you can't use save states with it. If you want save states, you'll have to work out how to get the floppy disk images to work and for my needs these are absolutely perfect for me I don't need save state supports and I'm not sure whether you can save a, your game's progress I haven't played the game far enough to actually do that but 
if you get if I go into my Amiga CD32 folder, as you can see, I've got all my games there. When you add them, obviously to Launchbox, you add the Q files and make you know, make sure the ISO files are in the same directory. When you add them to Launchbox, you're just going to add the Q files. So really and truly, that's all you need to do on the FSUAE side. Now, all you've got to do now is if I go back to my launch box, I'll go to Tools, Manage Emulators, and I've got the FSUAE there. It's as simple as emulator name, path to the emulator, which is the launcher.exec. No need to fill any of these in. Just click OK. Close. Now if I go to the Amiga. And just try going there. Double click it. And automatically runs. comes with its own menu so all we got to do is pause it you've got your options there to exit you do that cross I can't get the controller automation to work with it but when you've got that way of exiting I don't see what the problem is also as I say the advantage doing it without the floppy disk images and using these WHD files is if you've got a game, say, if I can find it, Secret of Monkey Island. Secret of Monkey Island 2 came on 11 discs, but if this is just in one package, you run it, there's no disc swapping. All the discs are actually have been installed the moment you've run it. I shall have to try a test later actually with this game just to see if it can save because it will be very pointless for this game if you can't save it but it seems to I'm pretty sure there's a database and it basically knows how to run the game from the database so it works apps you know I find for my usage it works absolutely fine now for Amiga CD32 if I take that out of the search box first The emulator there I'm using exactly the same emulator no change in settings and there you go boots straight away no fuss no trouble And there you go. To exit. And even going into big box mode. Let's just see if I can pick a random guy. Uh, 
and there you go, works perfectly, joystick works perfectly. I exit out of it using that method. Now the only problem is at the moment, when you import the WHD mode games, the metadata doesn't come up. It's basically to do with, you could do it by manually putting, you know, taking the knots that's off the end of each title and then searching for it. Hopefully someone can find a better workaround for that. The only thing I must stress, if you have any problems getting it to work, the most important thing you need is those kickstarts. If you don't have those kickstarts, it's not going to work. As I say, you can probably find them by hunting off on Google, but for me, I found the easiest way to get them was by Amiga Forever. As you can see here, the kickstarts are in my OneDrive, and they're all the kickstart ROM files. So it's important that you have all those files because if you haven't then the game's just not going to work. I hope this has been a help to some people. Sorry this is the first time I've tried to record a tutorial. Any questions don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.